honorees for David Payne. Uh, was he out doing some solo work this morning? He was. Uh, in terms of what he did, he worked on his own, uh, worked quite nicely over 1,200 metres, uh, just dashing up his last two, 24 and a half, nice comfortable work, smooth. I mean, he wasn't out to break a clock, certainly on a Tuesday before a derby. Yeah, they, they worked over 1,200 metres. Uh, they did a little bit over the last 600, 35, 25, last two in 24 and a half. Fat Al probably maybe just shaded the, the younger horse, but you'd almost expect that group one winner over a mile. Uh, they worked nice and solid, and uh, in terms of hitting the line, they hit the line strong, uh, but without any real pressure. Cups King himself, Bart Cummings, had Sanagas and Dare to Dream out here this morning. Uh, Sanagas, from what I've been told, is going straight into the Cup. Dare to Dream will run in the Lexus and then the Melbourne Cup. Yeah, they work together. Um, Sanagas, seen a lot of him. Uh, he can work nicely uh, and I think he's, he's certainly a better horse than, than where he's been going. Um, they basically strode over 2,000 metres. Last 600 was... 37 and, and change, but they actually strode home last two, 24-15. Uh, Sanagas maybe just had a head or a neck on the other horse, but um, he can run time, Sanagas, uh, and he's just got the classic Bart Cummings time to peak on on a Tuesday in November, uh, and to me, he's just he's just doing everything right. He might be one to back to, uh, over the odds right now. Very much so. Very much so. Astute trainer Roger James came across. He was silent Cheever last weekend and took out the uh, Crystal Mile. He had full of spirit out here this morning, and she's uh, heading towards the Maya Classic as well. She's normally a good track worker. Uh, this morning she was a little bit the same. She strode off from the 1400. The last three tick on 36. Last two in 2410. Uh, um, she was ridden out to the line uh, and and dashed along. But I think she's just at that stage where she'll be going into the race on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be her her grand final, so it's not a case of leaving something in afterwards. It sort of worked. They were. <laughs> They didn't do a lot, they strode off from the 1400, uh, Derby and Oaks types, um, and they were spaced, they didn't actually work in a line, uh, they were a little bit more abreast in the straight, they came home, uh, sped up from the 600, last two in a shade over 24 and three quarters. Um, Mama's choice, actually. She's working up to, to something, I think. She's okay. got ability. Mm. Uh, she's entered Wakeful, Oaks. Um, she's a nice filly. Patnak Farm Gallopers, Pear Tart and Transonic. Uh, had, I won't say did battle, but they, they galloped together. Pear Tart heads towards the Maya Classic and Transonic is going into the Wakeful on the way to the Oaks. Yeah, Pear Tart, I mean, obviously she's, she's a Group 1 horse already. Um, Transonic, she's underrated. She's tough as old boots and she just keeps improving, improving. They finish pretty much together. Uh, I had them the last 1,000 metres. Uh, oh, pardon me. Uh, they were tick over 3.55 and uh, the last two was, uh, they broke 24, they were 23.45 and Pear Tart maybe shaded the three year old but, but nice dash work, um, especially for the two of them heading towards the races that they're going to. Okay. Secret of Maya for Graham Begg, she's coming back from the Caulfield Cup into the Maya Classic, what did you make of her work? Work was very sharp. Mm. Uh, she doesn't take a lot of work and she doesn't do a lot of uh, pace work and then dashing up. Uh, she basically strode off from the 1200 this morning and really just cantered round to the top of the straight and then let down, dashed home her last 400 in 21.65. Short, sharp, really good work. Probably the kind of work you want to see though, coming back from 2400 metres. Some people might think she's a little bit too dour for the 1600, but uh, by the sounds of it, she's quite sharp. Absolutely, and I mean, her best form historically has been at 1600 metres. She's a quality mare, three group, three time group one winner and the way she's worked this morning you'd certainly say there's still plenty of zip left in her. Okay. And Cobain, Daryl? He worked on his own, uh, worked over 1200 metres, again pace work from the 1200. He was a little bit stronger, he dashed up his last 600 in a tick under 35. Uh, last two, 2520, uh, just slackened off a little bit towards the finish, but again he was smooth. He was getting a couple of little slaps up towards the end. Yep. Um, 
Exactly. Uh, and whether or not he's possibly coming to the end of a preparation, hard to tell. But uh, in terms of what he did this morning, uh, I wouldn't necessarily be rushing out to back him. OK, Dow, we've seen the whole lot. What do you fancy on Saturday? Uh, on what we saw this morning, you'd have to think that Nikita uh, is going to go very well in the Coolmore. Mike Moroni's horse, Roman Bathhouse, he's very lightly raced. He's a baby, but he could be one that could sneak into a place at a big price. Okay. Uh, in the other race, How Much Do You Love Me? He's just got everything looking good about him. Uh, and Mama's Choice and Transonic. They're both running in the wakefall. They're going to be big prices and they're nice fillies. Perfect. We'll see you Saturday.